offshore acres and as you can see the railings are starting to go up and the decking is finished. Uh, we still have the step we have to do to get up. I'm gonna go up the front door. It's still a construction site. We can't really have anyone on the property. Um, so we're gonna go up this way. This is the front door. We have some of the crew here today working and they stopped for a minute so we can check it out. So here's the front porch and like I said they're still working on it. And we're going in the front of the house. As you can see there's still a lot of um, items we need to attend to. Um, they'll be taping and spackling inside here and um, putting up this fan as you can see and painting and um, the flooring still has to be done to carry over from this side. So that's the uh, flooring that will be done on that side of the house. Inside it doesn't look any different than the last time we videotaped, honestly. I think they've been working on the outside with the skirting, so we'll go back out there in a minute. Uh, but it's coming along. Here's the laundry room, and then these steps are being built to go directly out to the deck. We ended up having to do the patio a little longer so that it would give them some room. So here's some area for patio. And this is the other area. And again, we'll have steps going down so that they can reach their um, parking area. All right, let's go back in and finish up. I guess, let's see, this might be a little closet. Yes, it is. A little guest closet. And up at the top, as you can see, they're starting to put the trim up. And um, the master bedroom still has a lot of supplies in it. Big room. And the bathroom, pretty much nothing's been done in here yet. They'll be putting in the glass doors. And they didn't even put the toilet cover out over there yet. So this is all the details that happen, so when the house arrives, it's got all these little rubber bands to get, have a little give. And they keep the toilet top in here. And we'll just help them out by putting it on. How about that one handed? And that little screen, I guess, goes in the door in the window right here. So I'm just gonna put this up here, keep it safe. And again, here's this pretty cabinet. There's the mirror. All right, let's continue. This bathroom too is still set up as if it was traveling down the highway. And again, here's the toilet lid. about the pretty. Um, this one does not need a glass shower door. This is a bathtub and then there already is a shower curtain here. Unless the owner wants to do something different. But this is very pretty. So that's that. And um, I'm gonna pick this up. This fell down as it was traveling down the road. So I'm gonna put back up where it belongs up there. A lot of details. Again, here's more of those rubber bands. That's what, and then they still have to put the furnace door on there. Here's the second bedroom. Here's the furnace door. Speaking of the devil, it's a Miller furnace. These are all national name brands. Here's another um, paddle fan to go up there. And that's the two bedroom, two bath house that we have here. I think the one thing we have right now is lighting. So um, let's see what turns on when we flip the switch. Okay, that little light goes on. And let's see what we have over here. Along the wall we have um, dimmable switches. Whoa, nice. So these are all LED lighting. 
So that's really beautiful. I guess we need to put the light bulbs in these pendants. So that's on the list. And here's all the little rubber bands. We should collect these and give them back to them. This center island has great uh, storage. And um, it's got electric on the side. That's always a plus. So this is a very pretty house. I'm gonna stand back and see what it looks like with the lights. Isn't that pretty? So no other lights go on because the light bulbs haven't been put up. All right, so I'm gonna go outside and check it out from the outside. We're gonna go walk around. Down the steps. Let's go look. So in the front, I think they're doing a flower bed. It'll be like the ones uh, farther down in the yellow house, which we also constructed. So that'll make it a little bit prettier instead of this big thick concrete. But that pretty much shows you how strong this house is built. And then under here, you'll see the anchor that was the hitch and um, the steel straps and the um, concrete piers that go down into the concrete columns that are beyond the frost line and you'll see those steel straps that hold the whole house down. It's a really intricate foundation and we tried to keep this one as low as possible so that it didn't have any higher elevation than the other houses in the neighborhood. So let's see on this side. Oh they did a great job. They created this whole area now. The house looks fabulous. Let's walk around this side. I'm gonna have to walk in the dirt here. And they'll be really putting grass seed and making this pretty. It's all about pretty guys, right? You know that by now, right? Since you've been watching, here's this adorable little shed. And then this is the angle over here. They got the shed from Kempton Sheds and brought them the siding and made it look exactly like that. Isn't that adorable? So that's it. Stay tuned and we'll keep you posted on the progress of this house. Came back a couple hours later and most of the railings almost done. Really great. I'll just wait another couple weeks and watch it on a fire stream. Mike is hard at work. Before you know it, it will be all done. <laughs>